Now at six, a major announcement today in a pair of cold cases in Collier County that have prompted rewards for information from the filmmaker Tyler Perry. Hi there, I'm Patrick Nolan. A wrongful death lawsuit has now been filed against a former Collier County Sheriff's deputy who was reportedly the last person to see two men alive after putting them in his patrol car. Four in your corners, Call Fortier has more from Naples on what this means to the families of these two men who were still seeking justice after 14 years, we're talking, Carl. Well, two incidents a few months apart had former Collier County Deputy Stephen Culkins putting Terrence Williams and Felipe Santos in the back of his patrol car. Neither Williams nor Santos were ever seen again, and Culkins has not fully cooperated with investigators. Now Tyler Perry is strengthening his support for the men's families while an attorney files suit against the former cop. It's not one day that does not go by that I just want to break down. Marsha Williams says she will not rest until justice is served in the presumed death of her son, Terrence Williams. The father of four was last seen near a North Naples cemetery in January of 2004. According to reports from the Collier County Sheriff's Office, former Deputy Stephen Culkins told investigators he gave Williams a ride to a Circle K gas station. A few months earlier, 23-year-old Felipe Santos had vanished in a strangely similar circumstance. A sheriff's report says that Culkins told investigators he was going to arrest Santos for having an expired license, then changed his mind and let him out at a Circle K. These two young men disappear off the face of the earth, and the last person to see them live was this sheriff's deputy. The bodies of Santos and Williams were never found, and Calkins never faced any charges. The Collier County Sheriff's Office fired him for being uncooperative in the case. Then on Tuesday, attorney Ben Crump announced he's filing a wrongful death lawsuit against Calkins. And he will be made to come to be deposed and give sworn testimony for the first time to answer all the questions that Marcia Williams has for him. Filmmaker Tyler Perry has supported the quest for justice in this case for years, offering a $100,000 reward for any information leading to a conviction back in 2014. We have not gotten any leads. I'm raising that uh, reward to $200,000. My prayer is in all of this, in, in trying to help her, is to just get the answers and get the justice that she deserves, that, that Terrence's children deserve, that the Santos family deserves. Sheriff Kevin Rambos released a statement today thanking Tyler Perry for continuing to raise awareness about the disappearances of both Santos and Williams. Anyone with information about either of these cases is urged to call Crime Stoppers. That's 1-800-780-TIPS. In Collier County, Carl Fortier, Fox 4, in your corner.